<laughs> Hi there, that was Heath Hunter's Revolution in Paradise. I'm Kira Cottrell, and I'm very excited to be speaking to the TEDx youth community today because, and I'm sure you've been told this a million times, you are the future, and uh, I'm sorry, but it's up to you to change the world now. It's your duty, in fact, it's your destiny. So I'm going to teach you a bit about how you might design your life, like I've designed mine to be a well-rounded, hopefully, <laughs> and a very centered person. There are three major roles in my life. I'm a dancer and a mom and also a designer. I'll talk to you first about dancing because you're probably wondering why I chose to enter the stage dancing. And there are two reasons. One is I'm setting up a little surprise for you at the end. And then two, that's the first tip I want to tell you about, which is you need to find your passion. And that's a common theme, I know. But I'm serious. It's true. This has been the most important thing in my life. Find what makes you happy, and it will power you your entire life. So mine, one of them is dance. And although I didn't get to fulfill my dream and be a Broadway dancer, I hurt my back when I was 17, it all worked out. I get to dance every day now, and you'll see a little bit later what career I did end up with, and it, it did work out just fine. So meanwhile, while I was dancing as a kid, it gave me the central confidence to just take on the world. And I don't know if you kids have experienced this, but sometimes in school, kids aren't always the nicest. And that, of course, happened to me. I remember one um, poignant moment. Let's call it an aha moment. You know, when you kind of go, oh. I was in the locker room, and this group of girls were making fun of me as usual. I was kind of skinny. I was kind of short. And I remember thinking, you know what? I don't mind that they're saying that. It doesn't matter to me. I work hard at school. I'm a good kid. Um, I happen to really enjoy dancing, and I'm, I was pretty good at it. But that didn't even matter. What mattered is I had a passion and something that I, I believed in. And so I realized, you know what? You can say what you want. And when I realized that, and they stopped, after a while, they stopped making fun of me. They're like, well, they're not getting a rise out of me. So this is one of the lessons I try to teach my kids which brings me to my second role, and it's my major role right now, which I'm mom to Max and Tatum, who I'm super happy to have with me in the front row. They inspire me every day to be a better person, and they are part of my second tip I want to talk to you about, which is get your support network. It's really important that you surround yourself with people who, and that's family and friends, who share your passions and believe in you and lift you up. And uh, my kids even helped me with this talk today. So, um, so they, along with my group of friends, really make my life complete. And it's important that you try to choose friends that kind of make you be the best you you can be. And choose friends that when you're hanging out with them, other folks might look at you and go, wow, that's a great group of people. Look at all that stuff they're doing. And um, sure enough, that that worked for me later, too, and I'll, I'll go to the, the next thing. But first, before that, one more tip. Be nice to everyone because you never know when you're going to see them again, whether it's uh, you know, some kid at school, they might be at another school with you, or the janitor, every teacher. Um, I had an experience recently where I ran across a colleague, a former colleague, and this is a new work situation, and we didn't always see eye to eye back in that day, and I remember thinking, oh, I am so glad I was always nice to them. So it will always work for you. So now to the next thing, the next big role in my life is I am a designer. And that's one of the reasons I called my, my talk Designing Your Life. Um, I had the great privilege to be a web designer at Google um, in t from about 2002 to 2008. So uh, I was in charge, not yet, I was in charge of the most of the time I was there, I was in charge of the home page and the search page, which you might think, well, there wasn't much to it, right? <laughs> Especially when you look at the home page now. But actually, there's, that's where the real art comes in. Because in order to, to bring something down to its simplest element, that is a true, a, a true gift. I mean, when you see someone 
dancing on stage, or you hear a piece of music, and you think, oh, could it be any more perfect? Or, or you see someone acting, and you think, oh, they're not even acting. That's ridiculous. And then you realize, wait, that, that's a true artist. So that's what we strived to do at Google, and I believe that is what sets them apart. I mean, I remember when Google became a verb. I mean, that's just the, that's the ultimate accolade. Um, and so while I was there, back to my support network, I worked with so many amazing people that were so passionate. There's the passion again. It was, I, ho I hope that all of you have that experience when you work. Follow your heart and do what you love, and you will have that experience too. And one of the, one of the coolest things I ever got to work on was Google News. And this is old news, so don't worry. This is from 2002, which not too bad of a design for, this is a mock I did in 2002. And our goal then, and we were a very small, small news team, was to get as much information out there on the page as possible, but in the cleanest way possible, so that the user could parse it. And uh, one, another really cool thing was I got to work with Krishna Barrett. He was the inventor of Google News. And he, I just uh, saw him at a party recently, and he went to the Google, to the <laughs> White House, and they gave him a tour, and they took him to a room where they have a huge screen that apparently President Obama goes in every morning and looks at Google News on this, on this big screen. So that, that really made me quite proud. And then I also wanted to, uh, to <laughs> include that back in that day, um, Marissa Meyer was the product manager on it, and uh, now she's the CEO of Yahoo. So it's a pretty, pretty neat team I worked with. And so uh, moving on, what I want to, the tip I want to give you is think outside of the box while looking at the big picture. Um, I don't really have a web design degree. I have a theater degree. And I just want to tell you, it doesn't matter what kind of studies you do, no matter what time, what what point in your life you come to your passion, follow it. Um, I remember when I was at Google, we started getting bigger and these younger designers were coming in. And one that I particularly liked interviewed all of us that were already there and asked, well, what's your process? I thought, oh gosh, wow, this is going to be a really short interview because um, I don't really have a set process. But then as I spoke to her, I realized it was really, I just become the user, and maybe I used my theater degree to do that. So if design is empathy and action, and if you can put your, sh your feet in the shoes of the user, you can sort of become them. And just, I was thinking for with news, what does the average news reader want to do? Well, they want to see the most stuff they can see in the cleanest way possible, and voila. <laughs> also, we tested it a whole lot as well. But um, now, coming back full circle, talking about designing your life and following your passions. I want to come back to that surprise I talked about earlier and introduce to you um, Heath Hunter. He's a pop star and choreographer in Europe who happens to be my fiance. And so he's another example of someone who's followed his dreams and passions all the way to America. And I'll show you, you a short video just to sort of teach you a little bit about him first. Here we go. Hi everybody, uh, my name's Heath Hunter. I'm a recording artist, producer, and a choreographer, which luckily they all fit together. Imagine being a brain surgeon in between doing all those things. Um, I created music and created dance routines that fit together with my music. But instead of making it so that it's just for the visual, I tried to make it so that everybody could do it. Like Kira said, the user. So when you would hear one of my songs, you would want to get up and dance, but you would do a routine that I created. What I noticed whilst becoming um, successful as a music artist, um, I traveled to Jamaica and worked with uh, the Marley family, Bob Marley's kids, Damien and Stephen Marley. And we went into the ghetto there, and I noticed inside the ghetto that the kids who had nothing, they had one thing, which was music, and they had passion, and they had dancing. And they would get up and dance, and they would feel happy through that. They wouldn't have all the technology of computers. They wouldn't have iPods. They wouldn't have any of those things. So 
I wrote a song called Revolution in Paradise. And I put a dance routine together with it and filmed it. And then I released that, which became successful over Europe. And we sold a lot of records from it. And one of the greatest things about it was it brought people together. And at that time when we did that, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Google. We just had MTV and the media. And what's so great about today is, and when we talk about passion, is that because of YouTube and because of Google, you don't need to wait like I had to for some guy in an office to sit there and say, yes, I give you a contract. And there's many people today that don't get that chance that are really talented. Now you can do that. You can go on YouTube. You can create your own video. And recently, there's a, a guy from Korea called Sai, which I'm sure you've all heard of him, which he does Gangnam style. <laughs> And what's so great is that the Asian market, they never managed to penetrate the rest of the world, but they have done. And this guy is fantastic, he's creative, and he created this, um, this famous dance, as you may have <laughs> seen it, even Ellen and everybody else has been doing it. And, um, and I'm gonna get you to do a dance today, one of mine from the Revolution Dance. And I think that's the greatest thing at the present day is that with the passion of what human beings are doing, it's bringing us closer together and it's making you have the opportunity in order to be able to show what your creativity is. And you shouldn't be held back by certain institutions saying, no, you're not good enough. Yes, you are. No, you're not. And I have also seen some great things like the scientists. I'm ready to learn science after seeing that guy earlier today because um, I was terrible. Um, so I would like to get you up to teach you the revolution dance. So anybody would like to join us, come up here on stage, but watch out for the technical things here. Does anybody like to come and join us? Don't all rush at once. OK. So if the audience would like to jump up, and it's very simple, it's only four movements, okay? Are you ready? Come on, put it on the side. All right, this is the revolution dance, okay? <laughs> so you just mirror me, okay? We just go like this with one hand. We go one, two, three, four. Good, but be careful of your neighbors, yeah? <laughs> okay, then we're gonna go to the side, to the side. We're gonna go down and down. Got four more, you ready? Up with the arm. Up with the arm, up with the arm, up the arm, cross your arms, down, 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 down. That's it. You ready? One more time. Forward, forward, out, out. Side, 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 side. Arm, 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 right and down. Now, I've got a spotlight in my eyes, so I'm assuming that you're all doing it. Okay? Are we ready? Can you run the music for me? Bring it up a little bit, please, sound man. A little bit more. We'll do it slowly what, what, what first. Ready? Here we go. Oh, what a world, what a place to be. I see the slowly. Out. Beautiful. Side. 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 I tell you, arms. To help all the children of the world. When the chorus comes in, cross the arms. Double time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Take it down. Got it? Push it. Side. Again. All right, shake it out. Shake it. We're not done yet. One more, one more. Ready? In case you didn't get it. Take it out. Side. Okay. This is the last time. Ready? Now, take it out. Push it up. Last time, ready? Take it out. Good. 